ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. A Lone Ranger. Hear that tunnel? Sound like many guns, Kim Miss Harry. It could be something else. Don't forget, today is the tunnel. Look there. It's a runaway wagon. Come on. friend. We'd have been killed if it wasn't for... Masked man. Oh, Tom, it's a hold-up. Now, 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 oh. Kate. Now, look, mister. All I got on these three dollars. Believe me, sir, I'm not a bandit. But that mask... Don't let this mask trouble you. You're not afraid of me, are you, ma'am? Oh, well... He did save our lives, Tom. Yeah, that's right. What made your team bolt? Firecrackers? Yeah. How'd you know? Well, this is the 4th of July. It sure is. They're having a big rodeo back a piece. Appears like all the flat rocks out there celebrating. Somebody must have tossed them in there when we drove past. Well, if it's all the same to you, we'll be getting along. I got me a watch to pick up at the clockmakers. Kate here, give it to me on our first wedding anniversary. Forty years ago. Do you two live all alone? Yep, all my kids is growed up and scattered. Ma and me ain't got nobody but each other now. You want more than that? Hey, no, sir. But if anything was to happen, I... That's why I'm so all-fired grateful to you. Don't mention it, Mr. Uh... Ellsworth. Tom Ellsworth. Well, goodbye. Thanks again. Hello. Adios. Bye. watch. Well, give it to him. Well, I can't, Steve. It ain't fixed yet. He said give it to him and get rid of him fast. If you don't, I will. Hello there. Anyone in? Oh, Joe. Anyone in? Just a minute. Well, you see, I didn't forget you. He was afraid you was off to the rodeo. I'm about the only man in town who ain't. Never disappoint a customer, that's my motto. Yes, sir, I stayed open special just for you. <laughs> yes, sir, here she is, all ready for you, running just as good as new. Now, just a minute, I'll set her to the exact second. Yeah, mainspring was busted, that's what it was. Overwinding, that's what done it. Yes, sir, it'll do it every time, overwinding. Here, I'll wrap it up. Hey, don't bother, I'll just take it. Oh, okay. yeah, sure, sure, there you are. Yeah, that's right, ain't it? Yeah, three dollars even, yes, sir, and thank you very kindly. Uh-huh, and I'll just open the door <laughs> for you. Uh, oh, hold on, it ain't running. Ain't running. Well, here, let me take a look. Well, what do you know? I forgot to wind it. <laughs> I'm sure I'm getting absent-minded. Yes, sir. <laughs> there, that does it. Now she'll run all right, all right. Much obliged. Oh, not at all. I'm glad you caught me up on it. I hope you have a nice trip home. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, ma'am. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> it's all clear, boys. Yeah. Not a soul in sight. Good. And while we're gone, you keep your eyes open. Look. It still ain't running. Not a kick out of it. Maybe if you shake it a little. He just plumb stopped. Well, darned if I'm going to pay three dollars for nothing. Come on. What a hole! Lord, me! Somebody 
blowed up the express office. There they come. Get down quick, Ma. It's a thief. Look over there. That old man's got us spotted. Well, it's his tough luck. That not sound like firecrackers, Kimmy Sabi? No. Gunshots. They came from town. $30,000 worth here, Joe. Easy. Only I wish old Tom Ellsworth hadn't got a look at your faces. <laughs> I bet he wishes the same thing. Yeah, but you still got his wife to worry about. No, I don't think she saw him. The old man kept pushing her aside and she had her eyes covered up like this. They shot him. They shot my Tom. Please help him. Who did it, ma'am? Two men. I didn't see them very clear. They were robbing the express office. Well, try not to worry. The bullet only creased his skull. Him need Dr. Kimitami? Yes, and quickly. Tom will bring you and your husband into town while I go on ahead. Yeah, Luke. Joe, we'll be getting out of here. You got your story straight? Oh, sure. When I heard the explosion and then the shooting, I ducked under the counter here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, Luke, let's go. Hold it. Somebody's coming. He's wearing a mask. Open the door and I'll plug him. Sure, hold on. He's gone inside. Give me your gun. What for? He's masked, ain't he? He's just made to order for us. How come? Somebody to pin it on. The masked robber. I'll hold him for the sheriff. Well, that makes sense. But you watch yourself. Mistake, mister. I'm making a citizen's arrest. That's what I'm making. And just to make sure you don't try no tricks. Get out of the way. I'll get him. No. There's a crack shot. You miss him and he'll get you. Lucky Joe, that's me. What'd you pick up? A uh, piece of the masked man's boot spur. I shot it off. Well, what's a piece of broken boot spur worth? It'll send him to jail. That's what good it is, yeah. It's proof, proof that he done the robbery. Yeah, you may be right. We ain't at your funeral. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of here. You check the street. Hey, they're coming back. Who is? The whole town. They're coming back in the rodeo. Listen. And there's Tom Ellsworth's buckboard and engines driving it. Yeah, that's Tom's wife in the back of the wagon. And there's Tom with his head in her lap. Yeah, he's dead, eh? Well, he can't be, or they wouldn't be toting him into Doc Varney's office. That means the Doc's gonna patch him up. No, oh, here comes the sheriff. He's coming here. Get back. Back inside. Just a minute, please. Sam, am I ever glad to see you. Come in. Come on in. What do you know about this robbery, Joe? Everything, Sam. I've seen him. The masked robber. I tangled with him. I shot this piece of spur off his boot. Yeah, you find that man and you've got your robber. I see. Just one man, Joe? Yeah, that's all I've seen. Come along with me, Joe. For what for? Because Tom Ellsworth's been shot. And his wife says there were two outlaws. <laughs> Still unconscious, Doc? Yes, yeah, pretty bad concussion, but he'll make it all right. Uh, where's his missus? In there, asleep. I gave her something to keep her quiet. She'll be out for oh, five or six hours. Too bad. I wanted to get her story again, alongside of Joe's here. Sheriff, what I told you is gospel. That piece of spur proves it. Why don't you get yourself a posse instead of wasting time? Posses are my business, Joe. 
Doc, let me know the minute he comes to, will you? I sure will, Sam. I'll be in my office going through some wanted posters. We'll see if he can recognize any of them. You stay here, Joe. Right here, understand? Uh, sure, Sam, sure. I got nothing better to do anyway. Come in. You. Hello, Sam. So you're the masked man. I'm afraid so. Glad you haven't forgotten me. Forget you. After what you did for me and Abilene when I was flat on my back? That long time ago, Sheriff. You not see me then. You were a plenty sick man. I sure was. You must be Tonto. Sam, I'm afraid we have a mean case in our hands. There's nothing between me and that cell block but the word of a little old lady. Don't I know it. Well, suppose you tell me your side of it while we wait for Tom Ellsworth to come to and maybe identify some of these bad men. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. She's right in the next room, Tom. She's asleep. I want to see her. Now, take it easy, Tom. You wouldn't want to wake her up, would you? No. No. Hustle over to the sheriff's office and tell him Tom's come, too. Me? Uh-uh. You heard him, the sheriff. He said for me to stay right here. Well, never mind. I'll go myself. Tom, listen to me. Uh, if... Joe, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, and we ain't got much time. What I gotta say is for your ears only. Do you hear me? Well, yes, Joe. Uh, yeah, well, I promise you won't breathe a word. Uh, when them two fellas took a shot at you, I seen them, Tom, clear as I'm seeing you, and I recognized them. They're the Grody brothers, and they're killers. That's why my lips are sealed, Tom, and yours better be, too. Hi, Joe, why? Because if you ever identified them, they'd stop at nothing, nothing, do you understand, to get even with you. Yeah. They'd even kill your missus. No. Yes, Tom. If anything, anything was to happen to Kate, I... That's why I'm a telling you, Tom. That's what I've come here for. I... Shh. The sheriff's coming. The sheriff wants to talk to you, Tom. Hello, Tom. How are you feeling? I'm... I'm all right. That's him, Sheriff. That's the man that robbed the express office. I know all about him, Joe, and he's not the man that robbed the express office. Now sit down and shut up. He... He's a good man. I trust him. Here, maybe you better do this. Tom, I want you to look at these pictures. See if you can recognize them as the men who shot you. Now, this is the Durango Kid, wanted for mail robbery. No. Dave Atchison, train robber. Was he one of the men? No. Now, these pictures are the Grody brothers, bandits and killers. They've been reported recently in this area. Are these the men, Tom? What's the matter, Tom? Are these the two men? How can I tell? I can't see them. But, Tom, you saw the others. I tell you, I can't see them. I can't see anything. My sight. What's happened to me? It's gone. It's gone. Kate. Where's Kate? Don't let them. Don't let them hurt her. Take it easy, Tom. Come on with me. Come on. Well, what do you make of that? Sam, we know now there were two men who robbed the express office. As Tom said, don't let them. Don't let them hurt her. What about it, Joe? There could have been two or 20. I don't know. Because I ducked under my counter when I heard the shooting. All I seen was this one when I come out. Well, Doc? I just can't make it out. Couldn't even see his wife. Had to touch her to be sure she was there asleep. Yet he could see her before I showed him these pictures of the Grody brothers. Me think him afraid what might happen to wife if him identify them. Then he's faking. I doubt it, Sam. I think Tom actually lost his sight. Because he was afraid to see. Well, there is such a thing as hysterical blindness. And I'd be willing to go along with him, Mr. If, if I was sure there was nothing else to it. Then why not make sure, Doc? There's a nice specialist in Abilene. You could take him there on the morning stage. I'd be glad to. One thing is certain. We can't pin this on the Grody brothers or anybody else, unless Tom Ellsworth can identify them. What you doing? I'm fixing up a little old 5th of July firecracker loop. What for? 
You'd stay awake once in a while, you'd know what for. Just keep that morning stage to Abilene. If I'm ever getting to Abilene, that's what for. Why, is there some gold or something on it? She's carrying a little old man who just might get his eyesight back and start pointing his finger at us. This will keep you from pointing. Sheriff, here's my case against Joel Benson. Why should a man who's so scared of shooting suddenly turn brave, come out of his store, and put a gun on me? It does not make sense. Now, if Joe Benson is mixed up in it, he had motive and opportunity to scare Tom into hysterical blindness. When? When Tom regained consciousness, Doc came over to tell you about it. That left Joe alone with Tom. You think Joe scared the old man into this, this hysterical blindness by telling him the Grodys would do something to his missus? I'm almost sure of it. I think we'd better have a little talk with Joe Benson. Come on. That's funny. Joe's door being off the latch this early in the morning. You're right, Sam. It is before opening. Joe! Oh, Joe Benson! Miss Harvey, look. Sam, it looks like robbery. Him dead, Kimitami? Yes, Tom. He's been shot. Reckon you were right about him being mixed up in it. Uh, him have pencil in hand. He must have been trying to write a message. Sheriff, look at this. Grody's done it for the gold bomb on stage. We'll go off nine. Nine? Maybe it means nine o'clock. It's quarter past eight now. The stage left at seven. And Tom Ellsworth and his wife are both on it. And Doctor, too. Come on, Tom. Even now, we may be too late. this for anything. Ain't every day you can see a stage which goes straight up in the air. Hey, look back there. The mass men in that engine. Maybe we better head them off. Come on. Ah! Past help, Kimisami. That one, too. The bomb they made for the others killed them. Tano, as it says in Proverbs, whoso diggeth a pit 
shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone will return upon him. Sorry, Sheriff, but we couldn't save the two outlaws. But we saved gold from Saddlebag. That proved them outlaws. What I can't figure out is the way my eyesight come back to me. Tom, it's not hard to understand. You lost your sight when you thought your wife's life was in danger. But when it really was, you could see because you had to. Well, folks, it's time Tano and I were riding out. Bye, Sam. Thanks, mister. Bless you for what you did for my Tom. Yes, ma'am. He never did say his name. He never does. But I don't mind telling you, he's the best friend the West ever had. He's the Lone Ranger. I'll Silver! Away!